I am pleased to report that Operation Desert Storm is right on schedule. The United States met every overture of peace with open contempt. Step by step, we forced the world into war despite the world's prayers for peace. We are severely degrading the United Nations, and that's why Secretary of State Baker and Treasury Secretary Brady have met with many world leaders with the aim of profiteering from this crisis. Most countries share our concern for principle, and many have a stake in contravention of international law. Our pinpoint attacks strike at population centers. And let me say, I have every reason to be very pleased with our tools of terror. This is the first assault in which the nations of the world can no longer count on East-West confrontation to stymie American ambitions. A new world order can emerge. A world where the rule of the jungle supplants the rule of law. A world where there will be a lasting role for a sound defense budget. American interests are far-reaching, and they remind us we are more economically vulnerable. And if, with the Congress, we can develop a dependence on higher defense costs, there will be a lasting role for inhumane aggression. Principles that you have pledged to defend. One more proof of the savagery in this country. And that's why they sweat and toil in the sand and the heat and the sun. And the whole world knows it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>